Louisville. Well, the Lake Monsters entered Saturday on a five game losing streak, but that was far from the main storyline tonight. Manager Pete, Pete Wilk made his return to the team not long ago as he continues to battle glioblastoma. And Saturday was dig in for Pete Knight at Centennial Field. Wilk honored pregame in front of the crowd. Plenty of applause and cheers for number 45. Special jerseys tonight for the Lake Monsters, all sporting the number 45 with his last name on top. And some time with his family in front of the crowd before the first pitch. Now on to game action. We're scoreless in the third inning until Jordan Kang sends one just into the outfield grass. Lake Monsters plate the first run of the contest. But the Starfires would plate the next one, two, three. The final one, courtesy of Corey Zientek. A grounder down the third baseline. Kobe Menser scores. And the visitors are up three to one. Vermont would get one back. It's three to two here. And with the bases loaded and one away, Kyle Lodis draws a walk. A run comes in, and the Lake Monsters tie it. Then Antonio Gianni is up at the plate. He sends a grounder to first. Looks like a double play, but he hustles his way to first to keep the inning alive. The go-ahead run scores. And Vermont reclaims the lead. Then for some insurance, Colby Brulette with a double to right field. Jack Winnet scores, and Brulette gets to second just in time to show off the Wilk 45 jersey to the dugout. Crowd on its feet for a lot of the evening. The Monsters win 6-3 to three in come-from-behind fashion on an emotional night for the Wilk family. I'm honored. I'm uh, incredibly touched by this town and these people in this organization. Um, unbelievably special. Unbelievably special. Um, I'm sorry. I'm not holding it together right now, but uh, really special evening for me and my family.